So straight we shall start na part yetu ya kwanza ya surface tension. So tumezoea ku define kama nilivyosema kwamba property of a liquid at rest, okay, the liquid should be at rest. We know we have two types of uh, fluids, fluids at rest which are hydrostatics and fluids in motion which hydrodynamics. Ndio maana kuna topic ya fluid dynamics. So e surface tension mainly concentrates to liquids at rest, so hydrostatics. Okay, hydrostatics just one component of hydrostatics so it is a property of liquids at rest by virtue of which its free surface behaves like a stretched membrane under tension and tries to occupy a small area as possible so it is expressed as newton per meter we shall see where does this come from but basically the natural maanisha hapa ni kwamba tunandoa okay tunandoa ambayo ina maji so this surface of this fluid imetulia is static in a behave kama a stretched membrane kiasi kwamba ukichukua hata pini kwa mfano slowly ukaiweka hapo utaona ile pini inaweza japokuwa pini na ni densa kuliko maji we expected it to sink lakini ukiweka very careful the pin will float here it is because the surface of this static fluid behaves like a stretched membrane kwa hiyo inai hold ile pini ukiweka uzi wadudu wanakuwa na tembe zote hizo ni surface tension tunaona mambo ya cohesion na adhesion kama tunakumbuka kwamba cohesion is similar material adhesions na zinakutana eh, force of attraction between different materials so basically hizi molecules za kwenye surface of the fluid zinakuwa zinaadhia together and they build together zinatengeneza like a stretched membrane okay so kwa kwa logic tu ya kawaida that simply how we can define but Uh, as far as the physics is concerned the, the the quantification of this definition tunasema kwamba surface tension is the force per unit length okay force per unit length acting in the surface of a liquid and perpendicular to one side of an imaginary line drawn on the surface so you have the surface you have a bucket of water So there is an imaginary line passing there. So it is the force per unit length acting perpendicular to this. So what happens? It means to the many imaginary lines. So perpendicular 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 it appears that this surface sasa inakuwa pulled. Tuangalie kama tungekuwa tunaangalia beseni kwa juu. So that imaginary line is perpendicular there. Is 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 passing there. And so we have force per unit length acting perpendicular to this line. So we have an imaginary line at that point acting perpendicular. An imaginary line there force acting perpendicular. So what happens in kama the surface is being stretched is being stretched. Okay, perpendicular perpendicular it is being stretched. And therefore finally na behave kama a stretched membrane. And we shall see the molecular theory how does that concept a membrane come about? So is the force per unit length acting in the surface of a liquid and perpendicular to one side of an imaginary line drawn on the surface. So namna hiyo. So what does the molecular theory tell us about this? Okay. So the molecular theory tries to explain surface tension effects. It says a molecule in the surface of a liquid. So we are going to illustrate. So imagine hii ndio ndo yetu so you have a molecule on the surface of a liquid it is subjected to intermolecular forces from below okay so inakuwa pulled below kwa sababu huko chini kuna other molecules and not above kwa sababu ndio iko juu ya surface tofauti na molecule ambayo iko huko ndani inakuwa pushed juu na another force kama kuna molecule nyingine chini ipo katikati but kwenye surface it is facing a uh, intermolecular forces just from below that means from within okay from within the fluid and not from above it okay providing effects of the molecules of the vapor vapor ignored it means kumbuka kuna unaweza kukaa na vapor so ile vapor na yenyewe molecules so ili ku eliminate hiyo tuna eliminate assume kwamba effects za vapor hapa juu hazipo so we the, the molecule ambayo iko kwenye surface ndio the highest na the only molecule ambayo iko hapo so it is facing only intermolecular forces downwards therefore if the coordination number of molecules of the interior is n kama huyu 
molecule ambayo yuko ndani ya fluid ana face n number of interactions it means ambayo yuko kwenye surface ata face half of that because half za juu half za chini okay half za juu na half za za chini half za juu na half za chini therefore uh, akiwa hapa juu za juu hazipo kwa sababu nabaki tu za chini kwa kama n ndo namba ya molecular interactions zilizopo kwa a molecule ambayo iko ndani ya fluid then ikiwa kwenye surface ni n divided by 2 because za juu hazipo and therefore if a molecule interior has a potential energy of say negative 0.4 electron volt okay negative 0.4 electron volt we know that these intermolecular forces they cause a negative potential energy remember from electrostatics from from concept is a gravitational uh, motion uh, is neither the car relate kwamba potential energy is given by a negative value okay negative negative value so if inside uh, potential energy ni negative 0.4 if you remember the difference inatokana na potential difference between one one molecule and the other then on the surface of molecule being involved only half of the many bonds kwa sababu hii potential energy na relate na, na, na interaction between one molecule and the other it means kama number of bonds number of intermolecular at, uh, interactions ni n divided by 2 ni half of that it means that a potential energy is half of that okay it means kutakuwa na potential energy ambayo ni half ya 0.4 maana yake yenyewe kwenye surface itakuwa na 0.2 electron volts thus the major point ya kuchukua hapa ni kwamba kuna kitu ambacho we are trying to, to explain to you okay this concept of molecular theory it is trying to explain to you and therefore utakiona kwamba the major point so far take home message hapa ni kwamba thus the potential energy of a molecule in the surface in exceed that in the interior kwamba ikiwa on the surface potential energy yake inakuwa kubwa zaidi kuliko ya body ambayo iko interior molecule ambayo iko interior kwa sababu kianga hapa negative 0.2 ni kubwa kuliko negative 0.4 so all systems arrange themselves in such a way that have minimum possible potential energy ndo principle ya system zote zinajarrange in a way kwamba zina ya minimum potential energy as minimum as possible okay and you know why unapokuwa na difference in potential kwa mfano ambayo ni kubwa uta result interactions ambazo ni unnecessary because kwa mfano if you have two charges okay that is not attract each other kumbuka potential energy is stored between them so the higher the potential energy the more is interactions zitakuwa zina zinavutana the charges zinavutana so systems zikuwe kwenye equilibrium kawaida zinajarrange in a way kwamba potential energy is as small as possible so in order that the potential energy associated with the molecular forces ambazo ndio hizo zinasababisha surface tension forces can be minimum then the number of molecules we reside in the surface has to be minimum okay so ili kupunguza potential energy it means molecules ambazo zinakaa kwenye surface zinakuwa as minimum as possible okay as minimum as possible ili kupunguza the interaction na hisi kupunguza hiyo potential energy so i repeat that in order for potential energy associated with intermolecular forces kama ambavyo tumeonyesha the surface tension forces uh, can be minimum okay in order that the potential energy associated with the intermolecular forces can be a minimum the number of molecules which reside in the surface has to be a minimum and therefore liquids have the smallest possible surface area okay the liquids will have the smallest possible surface area so hapa juu hapa kutakuwa na kwa sababu inatengeneza interaction kiasi kwamba ina form like a layer so if you are having here it means kuna kwa kama kuna layer hapa kana kwa form okay so it occupies as the layer should be as small as possible hapa small as possible ili kuweza ku minimize your potential energy na ku minimize your intermolecular interactions so liquids have smallest possible surface area and also the average separation of the molecules in the surface of liquid is greater than that of molecules in the interior okay in the interior it means distance ya kutoka one molecule kwenda the other so 
This is to call on molecule quantum the alpha, the average separation between the molecules in the surface uh, is greater than that of molecules in the interior. So if you minimize that surface, okay, about minimize the potential energy in your surface, it means easy molecules in a poor as far as possible. Why? Because they don't want themselves to cause an interaction and biointeraction. Tayari is na interaction ya kutoka zenyewe kuja interior. And so, hii imekuwa taken care by hii membrane kuwa thin as possible. Okay? Kuwa thin as possible. Hili kuminimize number of molecules and bozo zinaeza kukaa hapa nyo. Okay? Because in eventually tunaongelea elea, tunaongelea toto elea punto. So, hapa tunukua tunaongelea potential energy ya ki, ki molecule kimoje. But then we need to consider the whole layer. So to minimize potential energy kwenye the whole layer, it means lazima to minimize number of molecules ambazo zipo kwenye hiyo layer. Because in total, potential energy at equilibrium kwenye hiyo layer should be as minimum as possible. And what causes the potential energy is interaction between a molecule kwenye surface na molecule interior. Okay, below to it. Therefore, if we decrease number of molecules on the surface, it means we will de decrease number of molecules contributing to potential energy kwenye hiyo surface. And therefore, kwanza tutakuwa na small surface area because molecules ni chache. So surface area itakuwa as small as possible. Lakini vile vile, average separation itakuwa kubwa. Kwa sababu, ukiziweka karibu karibu, ukiziweka karibu karibu, it means uta accommodate more molecules. Lakini ukiziweka mbali mbali, it means uta accommodate as small molecules number as possible. So we will be achieving that kwa kuhu kuwa na these two conditions. So hapa kuna maelezo mengi, but basically the concept is that after these two things happen, the take-home message ni kwamba, if we imagine a molecule ambo yuko inside the liquid, inakuwa subjected to, manake average distance between molecules inside the liquid is smaller kuliko on top, tumesema hapa, average separation of molecules in the surface is greater than that of molecules in the interior. So, it means the closer they are, the more the interaction. So if a molecule is here, utakuta kwa mfano ana face attraction huku, ana repel huku, as a result net effect na kuwa zero. Ana push huku, ana kuwa attracted huku. So, attracted huku, push huku, net effect na kuwa zero. So, kuna kuwa ni, ni, ni net effect ni as if hawana ushirikiana. Kwa sabu huyu anakuwa pushed, huyu anampulu huku, kwa ina cancel huku. Lakini kwenye surface, ok, the distance is big enough kiasi kwamba kuna kuwa hakuna double effect ya impact ya molecule. Kwa ziko spaced wide enough kiasi kwamba, ok, uyu wanavyo kuwa kwa mfano wana mpushi huku. The space is big enough not to cause, ok, attraction ya molecule nyingine ambaye anafate huku karibu. Ok, kwa oo manake kuna kuwa kuna net effect tofauti na ikiwa ndani. Ziko very close kiasi kwamba kuna kuwa na many forces in act attractive forces kwenye molecule na repulsive forces. So, repulsion, attraction, zina cancel each other. So, uyo na msukuma, uyo na mvuta. Kwa net effect na kuwa zile. Lakini kwenye surface, kwa sabu zina space ya kutosha, zina kuwa na uwezo wa kutengeneza net effect. Ok? Kwa kuna kuwa na net effect, they don't cancel each other. Kwa kuna kuwa na kuna net force. Kwa net force, 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 net force. As a result, zina sababisha ile fluid ina behave kama a stretched membrane. Kwa sabu zina kwa na net force, zina zo interact na molecules. Net force, net force. Kwa zina sababisha ile. Kwa sabu, the average separation is big enough to minimize ile interaction. Ok? Lakini ndani, distance ni kidogo, interaction ni kubo. So, chances za kupata repulsion, na attraction at the same time ni kubwa na if it happens net effect na kuwa zero kwa sabi mtu kama nakuvuta mungine ya nakusukuma so unabaki uko pale pale basically if especially if the force is the same lakini juu kwenye surface area ni kidogo it means kama area ni kidogo area ni kidogo it means kuna molecules chache ambazo ziku with average distance ziko wide space na domana ziko molecules church. So as a result, interactions na kuwa kidogo. Kwa zina sabisha, kuna kuwa na net effect. If not all, in most of the molecules and balls of the surface. Therefore, they behave kama stretch member. And 
So for that reason, sawa, huku ndani pia anakuwa na face net effect. Hiyo tumeongelea in terms ya horizontalism. Kwenda huku na kwenda huku. Okay, kwenda huku na kwenda huku. Unakuwa na net effect. Kwa huku juu kwa huku ndani net effect horizontal inakuwa zero. Kwa hakuna surface tension. Juu chances za kupata net effect inakuwepo na ndio maana ina behave kama stretched membrane hiyo inavuta inavuta kama ngozi imewambwa imevuta kwenda juu sasa huku ndani again the same thing happens net effect inakuwa zero lakini kwa huku as you can see kama mtu ana face to attraction kuja chini imagine these molecules zilizopo kwenye surface zinakuwa attracted tu kuja chini it means this is the shape that they will assume okay because surface ambazo ziko hapa molecules ambazo kwa kwenye this part zinakuwa zinavutwa chini at least hizi ambazo ziko pembeni zina interact na surface ya hii container mfano kama ni bika au ni glass kwa zina face hiyo hiyo shape na that's the reason kuna kuwa na meniscus okay that's the reason kuna kuwa na meniscus however further the molecular theory tries to tell us kwamba uh, this happens also because the 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 sphere okay sphere ndio the, the the smallest possible surface area your body can have, can assume yani kama una your body ukitaka iwe na the minimum surface area as possible okay to achieve the part one the first condition sphere ndio shape ya body ambayo the body will have the minimum the surface area and no man this is another reason kwa nini zinakuwa hivi another reason kwa nini ya bubble inakuwa spherical zote ni kwa sababu ya surface tension okay zina minimize surface area as small as possible okay so hayo ndo maelezo yote yaliyoandikwa hapa kwamba kunakuwa na hiyo meniscus so we have an explanation kwa nini kunakuwa na meniscus we have an explanation kwa nini eh hiyo surface tension na behave kama stretched membrane so remember is of keywords we have an explanation kwa nini bubble inakuwa sphere kwa nini kuna kuwa na meniscus kwa nini ina behave kama stretched membrane ambayo tunasema membrane and tension so we remember kwamba key take home messages point ya kwanza ni kwamba molecules on the surface zinakuwa zina less interaction okay kwa sababu above them kunakuwa there are no molecules for interaction kwa zinakuwa na net effect ya chini peke yake na pembeni na molecules ambazo ziko pembeni yake. So, inside the liquid interaction ni kubwa kiasi kwamba chances za kupata net effect ni zero because once one is pulled another one is pushing. So kuna kwa net effect ya zero. Lakini on the surface kwa kuwa zinakuwa zina zina face very limited interactions cha kwanza na system yoyote inakuwa arranged in a way kwamba ina minimize potential energy. Therefore, pale juu kuna kwa na minimum number of molecules as possible that is one na minimum maximum na minimum number of molecules it means kuna space kubwa wako molecules wachache wanakuwa wakijiweka kwenye equilibrium distance between them is 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 is, is small kwa kuna kuwa na eventually tuna vitu viwili kwamba kuna small surface area possible na kuna kuwa na average separation between the molecules is large <coughs> distance between them in a kwa large so if that happens it means in a later effect in base so to remind the point ya kwanza ya what happens point ya pili ni what is the effect effect ya kwanza ni kwamba hiyo body ikiwa ina fewer molecules okay kwenye surface yake it means the molecules in a less interaction so has lazima zina, zinakuwa zina net effect net effect effect yake ya kwanza ni kuzi net effect horizontally in a stretch membrane au ya surface ya liquid and therefore it's the reason kwa nini behave kama stretch membrane na net effect ya pili ni kuja chini because juu hakuna interaction so effect ya chini maana yake inasababisha ile meniscus inakuwa inatengenezwa lakini meniscus is also as a result ya kuminimize surface area because surface area ikiwa sphere ndo that's the minimum surface area your body can have kwa kujifanya nyeo sphere na the reason kwa nini kwenye surface ya liquid tunakuwa na sphere reason kwa nini bubbles zinakuwa zina, zina spherical shape 
na hivyo kama ambavyo tumeeleza kwa those are the take messages na hizo hizo ndo molecular eh, theory inavyojaribu kutuelezea what really happens when surface tension so tukija kwenye mathematical details so we know kwamba surface tension is the force per unit length it means to the surface we have an imaginary line the force that is acting okay these two to number of forces net inakuwa f per unit e length where it is is acting okay the force per unit the imaginary length here your imaginary line that is acting you know what we call the surface tension okay as we have seen due to the molecular theory kwamba is not hivyo as if stretching the membrane so kila net force hapa inakuwa ina 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 ina, ina okay ina length yake it means we can assume the ile distance between one molecule and the other that distance the length so that force is acting okay perpendicular to that imaginary line so it is the force per unit length that's what we call the surface tension and therefore that force ambayo ina stretch inaifanya hiyo membrane act as a stretch membrane is sawa na surface tension so in this case tunaita t it be t ambayo iko curved kidogo kwa differential or t tension surface tension times length and therefore summation of the force okay summation of the total force that is acting on that imaginary length inakuwa ni twice okay the length why kwa sababu ina act on both sides okay remember the definition was saying the force per unit length acting on the surface of a liquid and perpendicular to one side of the imaginary line so we have a force acting on this side okay but remember these molecules hapa zinakuwa zina face interaction on the other side so zinakuwa zina face interaction on the other side so what happens ndo hii tu inapotokea kwamba ni twice this length okay because we have length kutoka hapa mpaka hapa for one side na length kutoka hapa mpaka hapa for the other side so total force itakuwa ni ni force due to part A na force due to the other side B so we have force as surface tension times length so twice of that ndo total um, force that is causing the surface tension as far as one imaginary line is concerned so usije ukalili ukakariri kwamba formula surface tension ina two no kwamba finally surface tension general formula ni sawa sawa na surface tension ni surface tension force ni sawa sawa na surface tension times effective length okay hii ndio general formula inabidi ujue effective length kivipi na depend na how many sides are in contact with air or how many sides are in contact with fluid as we shall see mbele further explanations kuhusu ili swala kabla tujaanza kusolve maswali tutalielezea vizuri ili swala la effective length na utalielewa vizuri zaidi kabla tujaenda kwenye maswali for now that's the concept ya how surface tension is got sawa sawa na surface tension ambayo ni force per unit length times the effective length effective it should be effective length 